Do you want to learn how to render hair? Well, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I personally rendered the hair of this character Fauna from Hololive. Hello, I'm the one you lost. I'm a professional freelance artist and illustrator. I've worked on quite a few personal projects, but also I've uh, worked on some video games as well. So, here I'll be showing you how I personally draw hair. So for this particular artwork, we are dealing with two-toned hair. That means I'm going to be having to work with hair that has two colors on it, which can be very difficult. Which, specifically, to fix it in this case, I will be using what's known as a multiply layer, which basically takes a color and uses it to darken or project a darker version of the color you choose on top of existing color. Once I do that, I start blocking out the shapes, and I focus on areas where the light is touching and the areas where the light is not touching. So as you can see, I have um, hair that is kind of swooping upwards, so underneath it there would be no light. So I want to completely darken those areas. Then, using the selection pen or the magic wand tool, I highlight those darkened areas and what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to create a lighter effect behind it, almost as if the light is, sh the light is shining through the hair. And that basically separates the, the dark part of the hair from the neck and it adds kind of a pretty glow effect to it. I, I really enjoy doing this and I've noticed a lot of artists recently have been doing this, so I picked up on it as well. So now I'm adding some darker areas on top of the head. Even though light is shining upon it directly, I want to kind of separate it and make it look like it's um, like the like it's coming out the roots off the top of the head. I, I wish I had a better way to explain it, but um, usually to make it look like hair, you have to have it be shiny. And sometimes the best way to do that is to add depth to the roots. I then take a, the same color and I create kind of a jagged zigzag effect down the middle of the hair to make it look like the darker parts are separated from the shining parts. I then take the finger, the finger tool and I kind of make it even more zigzag than it already is. Then, toward the end of the artwork, I add an add glow layer to make the hair shine a lot more. And honestly, that really is just about it. Um, hair coloring, in the way I do it, is pretty simple. I, I try to keep it very simplified. Um, some people get more in depth and like crazy detail. I prefer to keep it simple, but adding little details over time slowly makes it look much more complex. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, um, leave a like, comment, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. If you did not find it helpful or you feel I could improve it in some way, please let me know. I would love to improve my tutorials for you, make it easier for you to understand. It would help me so much. Thank you. Bye.